Hello FM3. I thought as an introduction to the section on waves, I would come down to the coastline and look at some actual waves in reality. So I've come down to Coldingham Bay on the east coast of Scotland, just north of Berwick. You see it's a sandy beach here and the waves that you see behind you are wind generated waves. These are the type of waves that we're going to be studying in this next couple of lectures. So what happens is the wind blows over the surface of the sea and gradually builds up the waves and the distance that it has to blow over, that's the fetch, determines the height of the waves. We're on the east coast here. Now if the wind had been coming from the east, the fetch would have been quite big and the waves would have been very high. But in fact the wind today is coming from the south, so the waves are relatively small. Now if you look out to sea, you can see the waves coming in from deep water and as they come towards the shoreline, they encounter shallower and shallower water. And as they move into more and more shallow water, then their speed reduces. They become slower and the wavelengths become shorter. So what happens then is the waves get steeper and steeper until eventually they just topple over and break. And you can see here some surfers here behind and they're just trying to ride on the crests of these breaking waves where the velocities are highest.